hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel hi my name is no lorraine and if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my videos so today i am here with a juicy juicy topic i know you guys are here for the tea <laughs> i'm going to talk to you guys about long distance relationship slash marriages this video was inspired from the q a that i did last time the more i thought about it the more i was like you know what there's something to talk about today so if you guys are new onto my channel you probably don't know this but the real g's the OGs here know that i'm currently in a long distance marriage my husband works out of the country and we've been at it for some time now what people don't know though is that before we were in a long distance marriage we were actually in a long distance relationship so when i met my husband he was actually working out of the country even then so we got into a long distance relationship and later on when we got married it became a long distance marriage and out of the seven years that we have been married married we have actually stayed together like full time for about four years when we were in malawi but besides that it has always been long distance and so today i thought i would come and talk to you guys about long distance marriages i'm going to talk to you guys about the challenges that you can expect to experience in long distance marriages and a few advantages yes there are advantages to it <laughs> So the very first thing that I can for sure say you're going to experience what you want to get into a long distance relationship or marriage is loneliness. So for me, I experienced this after we moved from Malawi. I was so used to staying with my husband. And then fast forward when he moved here, he now had to go and, you know, work in another country. And that's when the loneliness hit me. I was like, oh my God it hits you so bad especially when you are like me and you do not have a lot of friends you do not have a lot of adults that you talk to so most of the time i spend with the kids here at home and you know as an adult you are going to crave the adult uh, conversations and you know do things with other adults so the loneliness is uh, real in long distance marriages but what i can say you can do to overcome this or what we've done to overcome this is just to try and communicate more with each other so we are always on our phones always on whatsapp calls always on whatsapp video calls just so that you don't feel the loneliness as much but you know as much as you can communicate over the phone and do all those video calls and stuff like that the loneliness will still hit you there are those times when your partner is busy you know they are at work and you're alone at home the kids are at school you are just going to feel this that general loneliness this leads me to my second point which is communication you guys communication is already hard as a married couple personally i am not a good communicator oh my god i get so drawn into the things that i'm doing at that particular time i sometimes don't even have time to check on my phone i forget about my phone i would leave i would leave it in one room and be in the next and worse now that i have a newborn i sometimes will not check on my whatsapp messages so one of the biggest fights between me and hubby has been about communication he's always stressing like you need to communicate more you need to be near your phone so that when i call i can get to talk to the kids i can know what's happening at home we've had to find a balance and find time to talk to each other so we usually just call each other at night that's when we have the much longer talks over the phone our video call or your video call so that you can talk to the kids um during the day we just communicate you know via whatsapp messages and things like that but we've definitely had our fair share of fights because of communication and uh, most of it being my fault but i am improving <laughs> <laughs> i feel like now i'm at a better place i'm on my phone more the next challenge that you're going to face when you're in a long distance relationship 
especially when you have got kids is you're going to feel like you are raising your kids on your own you know being in a long distance marriage will make you feel like a single parent at times because you're the one doing the disciplining you're the one making sure they're fed bedtime is on you basically everything is on you so you are going to feel like you're raising on your your kids on your own and then the next thing that i experienced is awkwardness there's just a certain awkwardness i don't know how to explain it but it's like meeting someone again for the first time because you're now set in your routine you're so used to doing things on your own when your partner comes you guys i most of the time feel like someone is messing up my routine when i'm alone right now i have got certain things that i do on a day to day like i've got my own morning routine my own evening routine that i've adjusted to then that i'm used to and so when your partner comes or when my husband comes those routines are disrupted and it just takes a lot of adjusting to each other and i'm sure he feels the same because being alone at work he definitely has his own routine and things that he does and now that when he comes back home he's got kids in his face saying daddy 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 all over him and you know a wife telling him you can't be doing that because I don't like doing that this is how I do things here at home so it takes a lot of adjustments on both ends so you're definitely going to see a shift in your routine and you're going to feel like someone is you know disturbing your peace <laughs> you are going to need to be independent so when my husband is around there are things or when we're staying together in malawi there are things that i would not even think about so things that to do with the car things to do with fixing things around the house i would not think about those things but now that we are in a long distance marriage and i have to i'm the one at home i have had to deal with those things i have had to become independent so i've had to know how to change tires i have had to know things that i would not normally do because my husband is the one doing them those jobs that are normally left for the men in the house to do i've had to pick up those things and do them and i am not happy to do them most of the time last but not least you guys higher cost of living i wrote these things on my paper and so i'm looking at my paper we've been in situations where we're renting and he was also renting where he was and at the end of the month the cost of all these things just piles up and you just eat up on your income so yeah those are some of the challenges that come with being in a long distance marriage the advantages what are the advantages <laughs> just the general freedom you guys know that being with your partner 24 7 can become too much at times i've heard people talk about wanting space in their marriages and when you're in a long distance marriage you've got all the space you need you've got too much space in fact so there's just there's just that general freedom that comes with being alone and not being together 24 7. so the second advantage of being in a long distance marriage is that it keeps things new and exciting you guys know that when you're living under one roof with your partner things can get a little bit dull you have to put a little bit more effort to keep things exciting romantic in your relationship but in long distance marriages it keeps things new and exciting because every time you see each other it's like a new experience it's like you're meeting for the first time and it keeps the flame alive if you know what i mean that's all for today you guys those are the some of the advantages and disadvantages of being in a long distance marriage if there are other things that i've left leave them in the comment section let us continue the conversation in the comment section because i know that i'm not the only one in this situation lots of you guys have been put in long distance marriages not by choice but because of the prevailing economic situation in zimbabwe people are moving abroad to look for greener pastures and many times that not you find yourself in a long distance relationship let's continue the conversation in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you
you guys in my next one until then bye